Qatar prepares to send more mobile homes for quake victims as new earthquake strikes. Qatar's emir holds call with Tunisian president amid an alarming crackdown on opposition groups. A concerning global study reveals that one in five children suffer from eating disorders. And finally, is Liverpool up for sale? Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar announced plans to send 1,400 mobile homes for the victims of the 6th February earthquake disaster in Turkey. The announcement was made prior to the latest earthquake on Monday, which shook the same region along the Turkey-Syria border. Monday's 6.3 magnitude earthquake killed at least three people two weeks after the area was devastated by quakes that killed nearly 47,000 in both countries. Qatar had already pledged 10,000 mobile homes to the victims of the initial violent earthquakes. And now, Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani and Tunisia's President Qais Saeed held a phone call amid ongoing unrest in Tunis. The exchange of messages between both countries comes amid calls for restraint as reports of a crackdown on dissidents continue. Mass arrests have targeted politicians, media figures, and activists. Since coming into power, Saeed has been accused of a power coup after suspending parliament, sacking the prime minister, and appointing himself general prosecutor. A new shocking study found that three out of every ten girls suffer from an eating disorder, while one in six boys also experience anorexia, bulimia, and other severe eating disorders. The findings reveal that overall eating disorders affect 22% of children or more than one in five. Researchers combined data from 32 earlier studies with more than 63,000 participants aged 7 to 18 from 16 different countries. And finally, Liverpool FC owner John Henry clarified that Fenway Sports Group will not be selling the club anytime soon, sidetracking any on-set connections to Qatar on Monday. Rumors were initiated at the end of last year after the Fenway Sports Group owner pointed to possible investments from outside groups fostering interest from the Middle East. The comments come as Qatari investor Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad al-Thani confirms a bid to purchase Manchester United. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.